All right, part five. We have Paul Atreides, played by, let's see, where's my notes? Timothy Chalamet. I believe that's how it's pronounced. His accessories are a pair of daggers. There's a look at the guy himself. Interesting looking dude. Let's see. There's a barcode if you want it. Alright, let's get this guy open, huh? How about it? I'm not sure if you can tell, but that is mega dusty. Sat around at Walmart and at my apartment for so long. While I, excuse me, while I waited for Duncan Idaho there, that it was mega, mega dusty. But I'm looking forward to this um, this movie because d the director Denny Villeneuve, Denny Denny Villeneuve. However, it's pronounced. Uh, I like the way he makes movies. I really enjoyed the uh, the look and sound and feel of uh, was it uh, Blade Runner twenty forty nine. So I trust him to make an epic landscape for us to look at for Dune. Build a figure pieces. All right. Cradle shot. Let's get a pair of daggers out. Pretty cool little daggers here. A pair of them. Sculpted nice. We're super basic. You can see three little bolts holding the daggers together they're exactly the same very cool put those aside let's get the other dagger out there's basically three daggers with them standard uh dagger much like those two in the back lady jessica and stilgar so basically it comes with three daggers That's the last of the great big ripping plastic sound. See you later, box. All right. Again. Oh, I didn't mention it with these other guys, but these eyes are super nicely painted or printed or whatever. Probably printed because they're so nice. Good looking face. Check out the articulation. Lots of range of motion in the head, neck there. Very good, very good. Stiff shoulders on this one. Yeah. Same articulation as everything else. Same, almost identical looks. Different size. Can't guarantee anything, but he's a real similar size to her. Maybe there's a bit of reuse there. Bicep. Yeah. You, you've, you've all seen the uh, articulation, folks. You don't really need to see it again, do you? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Stiff knee joints. This one's got a giant scuff there on him. But... <laughs> Easily kick him tough in the ass. That doesn't look right. Hey, pinch myself. 
bit of a ratchet in the joint. I like that. It helps it uh, stay stiff. Shorter feet to articulation. Alright. Let's see. You know, let's see if we can get him into a very dynamic pose. He doesn't have quite the same range of motion as Shang Chi over there. I think if we if we work it just right, play with the range of motion that we do have. Turn, turn that. Let's see, it was working a second ago. Well, that's not too bad. Leaning back a little bit. Let's get the get some daggers in his hands. Every young lad on the adventure needs a couple weapons, huh? <laughs> Come on. Come on, fingers. Eh. Damn, torquing the hell out of this dagger. There's one in there. Alright. Let's get the other one in there. Because I, I like these daggers. They're cool. Alright. Looks like he's ready to defend things. Alright, that's cool as shit. Let's put Lady Jessica in the front here in a second. Yeah, see, now everything wants to fall over. It's probably the grit that I have. The sand that I have in the display there get Stilgar standing back up Lady Jessica being nice and dynamic let's get her standing up let's see stand on the flat so why not there that's fine Let's get him standing. He's barely making contact with the ground here. That's better. Will he stand up here? Good enough. Good enough. Find that sweet spot there. There we go. Wow, they look super pale because I got the brightness too high up. All right, we're going to come back in a second. Right, that was Paul Atreides, Lady Jessica, Stilgar, Duncan Idaho, and Baron Harkonnen. Coming up shortly, we're going to build Glossu Rabin, Dave Batista. Peace.